I do appreciate and I want to applaud our, the committee leadership for making significant changes to this legislation because earlier in this session, what was barreling down the tracks was such an egregious overreach of state control to eliminate home rule in our state that was absolutely incredible. And what I think is so wonderful, and one of my colleagues mentioned this earlier, you know, we find a lot of times with significant policy that's being debated within our state capital, you may not believe it or not, but most residents have no idea. And not because they're not interested, but they're busy living their lives. They're going to their jobs. They're being with their family. They're trying to just enjoy living in our beautiful, beautiful, unique state. And it really requires taking some of this policy information and the real truth about what the impact could be out to the people. And the people across our state have spoken. They have been loud. There have been rallies. I heard somebody say, oh, there's just all these noisy rallies. That is the voices of the people saying, we do not want this. We have had towns pass resolutions saying, state, stay out of our towns. And I think we'd all agree, you know, being someone who isn't a native of Connecticut, I've lived here for nearly 30 years, but as I was choosing to live in Connecticut and find a place where I could stand the commute to New York City and also be able to afford the towns, each community I looked at had a different character to it. And some have different appeal versus others, and that is part of the beauty of the state of Connecticut. So I am just really uh, quite proud, quite frankly, of how this legislation has evolved. But I wanna make clear, while this might be a watered down version, this is a huge boot in the door for state control over our towns that would eliminate that uniqueness that makes Connecticut so special. So I, I too want to thank the people of Connecticut who have stood up and said no. I want to thank the committee leadership who also heard those voices and have brought forth something very different. What has been brought forth I find still unacceptable and I won't be supporting but it does show the importance of getting the word out and letting the people share their voice.